everybody. So today, um, as promised, can't find my pick. We are going to play around with, I'm going to show you here. I'm just move my little guy. Where's my, sorry, my keyboard's moved. I don't know where everything is. We are going to play around with three. Dan, this is a Dan Electro Pastrami Overdrive, uh, Fab Distortion, and a Bad Monkey. Now, granted, these are all cheaper. Um, they're, they're cheaper uh, pedals because I am cheap. And I know I should, one of these days I'm going to actually spend some money and get, get some decent distortion pedals. I don't generally use them that often, um, honestly, I, but I, I do love the Bad Monkey as it is. And it cost me $20 and I was quite happy with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these distortion pedals one at a time, not all together. And we are going to run them through into the virtual amp and see what kind of sound we get. So, as you can see, I have my I have my Telecaster copy here. So, and I have already set up, I've already set up the amp here. It's on clean, so as you can see, I just turned off the Bad Monkey, so no distortion. It's a very nice, very nice clean sound. Now, the best way to do distortion into an amp generally this is not always because i know like the I, one of the boss pedals a heavy metal pedal or something everybody always says no no that has to go that has to go between the between the amp and the that goes in the effects loop it doesn't go into the into the um it doesn't it's not the beginning of the thing it's it's more of a preamp or or something it's not it's not meant to be used as a as the first thing in the case of distortion, generally, you put it first. So that's what I've done here. So now, um, I've set, like I said, set up nicely. We can change the, we can change the. And let's see how that's. So it does. That one you can definitely hear a difference. So we'll do a one by 12. Got a little bit of reverb on it. Um, we'll start, let's see if I can move this down this way, but uh, we'll start with the bad monkey. I'll turn on, so. Okay, I knocked it all the way down to D when I, pushed it when I was turning stuff so as you can see the bad monkey it's got a nice sound to it now the thing about the bad monkey is this is in the side. It has two spots. It has one out for the mixer and it has one out for the amp. I'm currently using the amp one, but if we switch it, let's just switch. Okay, now we're in the amp one. As you can see, the mixer one is a little deeper. And I'll show you. Watch, do that again. It's got a higher, it's got a higher sound if you do it on the, on the, um, on the amp one. I don't know why that is. That's just the way it is. I've actually recorded this with both plugged in into my system, two different tracks, and I've used it. I think the uh, solo on Premonition on the MPF project was done that way. Now let's go over to my friend, the Fab Distortion Pedal. Ow, as I hurt myself here. So,
high distortion. No feedback. So it sounds decent. Found a good mix here. Yeah, you can, you know, the, the, the setting on the amp is good. It can be used. Um, this is this is odd because last time I tried this, I didn't like the sound of anything. Maybe it was the pedal I was using. I wasn't using any of these. So let's go over to Dan Electro, see if we can get a nice sound out of that one. Okay. That one worked out well. So yeah, so the point is, yes, you can use your distortion pedals. Put them before the amp, unless you're using the other one. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, now you can also, this is another thing you can do. So we got, uh, let's go back up here. So we have our amp. Now let's switch to, let's select something different. So right now compressors off, effects are off. Let's turn the effects on. So I would turn, they're on now. So now we're not getting anything because there's no rate. I'm trying to give you a better picture of it. Put on the bad monkey. Now, the only thing is, if you're going to record this way, record it onto a stereo track because as you can hear, we're getting a chorus and it's going across the whole thing. Let's turn, let's turn to the flanger, of course still on. Nope, let's turn on the chorus, let's do a flanger now. Nice, adds to it. All right, let's go to flanger or phaser. Now granted, I'm going overboard with this stuff just because I'm trying to prove a point. Sounds nice. I like that. Okay, let's try Tremelo. Give it some depth. Some. Sounds 
kind of weird. Wow. That's clean, distorted. Clean, sorted. The last one, clean. Sorted. Has that telephone sound. What if I turn the sensitivity down? So if you want to add This is just a straight delay. So, I think that answers the question. Yes, you can use a bad monkey, or you, sorry, you can use a distortion pedal on your system. Um, what, like I said, do it as you would do with your guitar, straight in, and then from the guitar into the distortion pedal, make it your first line of your, of your track. Uh, we're gonna try, some, uh, next time we're gonna try, see which sounds better doing uh, the doing the uh, effects first or last for for other effects like delay so I have in my arsenal I have my broken flanger I actually have some boss ones of this though so we do have a boss octave so we can try that out uh, I have a digital delay and a flanger so we do have some boss ones i also have a behringer octave pedal which i might just i have a band practice tomorrow i might just bring that tomorrow band, band practice tomorrow for my bass for fun um and that is today's video once again thank you to everyone who has liked subscribed everything else we're we're moving along very quickly i'm very happy uh, I don't think I'm going to hit a thousand by the end of the year, but that's okay. Uh, once again, thanks to everyone, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.